Hello, and welcome back to some Cold Fusion fun. Today we are going to look at queries and just how fun and easy they are. We have a database. Let me show you it. And then test, and it's called people. Um, so we have an ID, that's an auto-incrementing number, a name, and a phone number. Easy enough. So what would we do if we wanted to insert people into this database? I'm not going to talk about forms yet, we'll get to that at a later point, but I'm just the just the, the basic cold fusion things to insert someone to a database. Let's open up a new file. And in this file, people.cfm, we need to create some variables. So we're going to use the request scope. We're going to set the data source name, and that is test that we have set up in the Cold Fusion Administrator. And the username. Is root and our database password is password. Simple enough. So let's do CS uh, query. And we're going to set the data source. And we request a DSN. And then we'll set the username. Request that you win and the password. And in here, we're going to insert. So, anytime you do a CF query, you can put your SQL right in between the two CF query tags. Um, as we're doing now. So, we're going to insert into people the name and the phone number. And values are going to be, let's do George. And he'll have a phone number of 555, 22, or 444, 5555. And there we go. Let's, uh, let's output this. So we can see that he actually did get into the database here. And then just select star from people. And for this, oh, do I have to give it a name? <clears throat> Since we are expecting records back, we have to give this a name. Um, so here we will just do a dump of that. So if we were to run this, let's open up our browser here. And here we have George, and we have a phone number. As you can see, if we were to increment it, it just, we keep just adding George to this because it's not determined, you know, it's, we, we're not, um, we don't have an input field, input form for it. But let's, uh, let's modify this and show you a delete statement here. So in here, we're going to delete from people, and that is the command to delete all records from the table, <clears throat> if I can spell it correctly. So it will go through, delete all the records, and then we'll insert George. So this time, we should just have one record. 
So you have five records here. You can tell by that. And then, and then there's George. It's still incrementing because we have an ID of six now. And if we refresh, that ID increments with the same data. And so we deleted. We just keep deleting his record and then we reinsert him. Okay, well that's all nice and dandy, but what if you wanted to actually get some um, input from people? We can do that. So let's first off create a form. And we'll tell it to post to itself, that's what the cgi.script name means. And then we will put some fields in here. We'll just make a simple table. And we'll do name and an input field name will be just name that's fine and then we will do a phone number and then of course we will need a way to submit um, the form so let's refresh this and just show you the form here simple form doesn't really do anything if I push this okay it's fine doesn't do anything yet so Go down here and go if is defined form dot name and is defined form dot phone. Then we want to run a query to display our records. Well, let me rephrase that. We want to run a query that will insert them first. So you can see a query data source quest.dsn username quest.un password and we'll go insert into people name phone values and this is where we do some tricky stuff here. We're going to use a CF query for M. This is so that you don't have um, basically hacking going on in your database and that people can't um, it's for uh, a cert cross scripting and all that fun stuff. So protection on your database so that people don't muck with it too bad. Obviously you'll want to always um, double check your fields so people can't insert illegal things in there. So for a CF query param, we're going to do a CIA, uh, SQL type equals CF SQL bar char value will be form because anytime that you process a form, uh, form is the incoming scope form that name and we'll put another one we'll do form dot phone. now I think I don't need a CF in front of this I'm not sure we'll find out in a second and then of course we will want to um, display the output so we'll do a 
to query data source request send and we'll do select star from people and that's good enough give it a name To loop through the query and output it. So let's create a table. Actually, let's do a CF table, It'll be easier. And we'll do the query is equal to Q. And CF column name, name. Name equals um, phone. I think we need to put a value in here. <laughs> put value in here. And Let's see if that works. <laughs> oh, we need changes to a CF SQL type. My instinct was correct. I didn't listen to it. Oh, I need to change my CF call to header and text. So, header and then text, not name and value. I usually create my own tables. I have more control over them, but so we have George okay so if we do Fred Jones and his phone number will be 451 dash 555 or 666 dash 555 we'll just submit and then there he is and you could just do this all day. Um, John. That is a simple way to to output uh, data and to uh, well put in simple data into a database. Um, we'll go more complex a little bit later on, but just thought I'd introduce you to that concept. And hopefully next time I record I won't be as sick. But I um, hope you enjoyed it, and um, we'll catch you later. All right. Bye.